Hey guys, in this video I will be taking a look at Ubuntu 12.04 Alpha 2, so let's get stuck into it. I am currently on the login screen. In the top left hand corner we have the system name. In the top right hand corner we have the accessibility options, the volume control, the time and the calendar and the option to shut the system down. We have all of the user accounts listed and we have the option to log in using Ubuntu or Ubuntu 2D and we also have the option to log in using a guest session. Okay, I'm currently logging into the system. It would be slightly quicker if um, Ubuntu was installed on a physical machine rather than inside of a virtual machine. Uh, first, I'd like to take a look at the icons in the top right hand corner. We have an envelope here and we have all of the different um, chat settings here or the chat availability options, I should say, for empathy. Uh, we have the option to set up broadcast accounts such as Twitter and Facebook, email accounts and Ubuntu One. So this is almost like a notification area here. Uh, we have the network settings. Um, I'm not going to go into all of them. Though I am obviously using a wide network connection. We have the volume control settings. We have the time and the calendar. Uh, and we have the option to switch between user accounts. So in my case, I can switch between um, my account and the guest session. We have a few different um, system settings here or we have system settings, display settings, startup applications. Um, it will tell you whether or not your software is up to date. We have attached um, devices such as printers, mobile phones, etc. cameras, they will all display here. We have the option to lock the screen, to log out or to shut down the system. Uh, now we have the sidebar on the right hand side. We have the dash home, we have the home folder, Firefox, LibreOffice Writer, Calc and Impress. We have the Ubuntu Software Center, we have Ubuntu One, we have the system settings, the workspace switcher and the rubbish bin. I'm going to take a look, a quick look at um, the Dash Home. Uh, by default this is what it looks like, though you can maximize it if you want it to take up the full screen in order to see more um, application icons etc. We have all of um, the shortcuts here, I believe that you can configure them however you like. Um, and you can also obviously search for files and applications etc by simply typing in there. Uh, here we have our most frequently used applications, installed applications and apps available for download. You can also um, search for apps that aren't even um, installed um, on your system. See Battle Alarm for Resnoff comes up even though it's not installed on my system. Uh, let's take a quick look at um, the installed applications. By default, all of the applications you know, aren't in folders or anything like that. You can, however, um, filter the results. You might only want, want to view um, the internet applications. So you can um, use the filter um, internet. So you only see the internet applications. Um, this is the same as the folders in effect, except it's more of a filter system. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the applications. I will take a look at a couple of the applications, see what's um, installed by default. We obviously have um, Firefox um, version 10, I believe. Let me just double check. And also applications sort of open in full screen, or I should say that the sidebar um, automatically hides. I personally don't like this behavior. Um, whenever I install Ubuntu, I change it so the sidebar is set to always um, display. Um, and in the top left hand corner, we can see the name of the page. And when you hover over the name of the page, it changes. Um, so you can close the application window, you can minimize it, you can maximize it. And all of the other um, you know, menu settings come up. So about Firefox, and yes, this is um, version 10. Uh, let's take a quick look at the other applications that are installed. So we have Firefox, we have Empathy for chat, Gribber is, um, you know, the broadcast um, client, you know, for Facebook and Twitter, etc. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, we have all of the different LibreOffice programs. We have Calc, Draw, Impress and Writer. Um, it's a bit buggy when you scroll up and down. It seems to like to go back to the top, which is a little um, bit annoying. 
Uh, do we have anything else here that looks interesting? We have um, Transmission um, as the default BitTorrent client and we have Thunderbird as the default email client. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want this to be a long video. Uh, and what else do we have here? We have all of um, your folders. So you can obviously search for files and folders and you have documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads, etc. And we have your um, music collection here and you can search through your music collection and you can filter by genre, which I really like, though I don't have any music um, uh, within this operating system, so nothing is obviously going to come up. Uh, let's take a look at the file manager. Um, obviously, Ubuntu uses Nautilus 3.3.4 in this case. Um, I quite like it. It's a very functional, um, you know, file manager. Um, I'm not going to open these applications. The writer is obviously the equivalent of Microsoft Word. Calc is obviously the equivalent of Microsoft Excel and Impress is the equivalent of Microsoft um, PowerPoint. Uh, let's take a quick look at the um, Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, it has improved a lot. Every release, it just keeps getting better and better. Uh, so we have all software, we have installed software and the history of installed software. Uh, we have a What's New section, um, and as you can see, we have free and paid, ap paid applications. Um, we also have um, top-rated applications. Uh, so let's quickly um, browse for some applications. I can browse for internet applications. We have the top rated internet applications and we have a few different categories. Um, some of these are very common applications found on, you know, found in Linux on Mac OS X and Windows, you know, like FileZilla and Dropbox and Pigeon, etc. And obviously Firefox and Thunderbird. If I'm interested in Dropbox, I can click on Dropbox. Um, I will see that it is available for free. I have the option to install it. There is no screenshot um, available for this application. You know, I can find out the, the version of the application and the size of the application. And there are even user reviews, which is um, pretty nice. And you can choose whether you want to only view English reviews or all reviews, probably only English, unless you speak a secondary um, language. Um, and once again, I'm um, having the scrolling problem. Sometimes when you scroll down, it likes to scroll up to the top on its own, which I really don't like. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the, U, um, for the Ubuntu Software Center. I'm just going to close that. Uh, we have all of the um, system settings, which I'm not going to go into. We'll be here all night otherwise. Um, and we have the workspace switcher, so obviously you could open, you know, the home folder here. You could open, you know, Firefox here. The Ubuntu, um, oh yeah, I forgot Ubuntu One. Uh, basically, with Ubuntu One, I believe that you get um, 5 gigabytes of free storage, um, which you can use um, for files and music, etc. Um, so I highly recommend getting a Ubuntu One account if you um, have Ubuntu installed on your computer. So that's basically how the um, workspace switcher works. I have never been a big fan of workspaces personally, or I've never really utilised them myself. And we have the rubbish bin, which, you know, it's nothing too exciting really. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm not sure if I have forgotten anything. The chances are that I have, though if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me. I do highly recommend um, Ubuntu as a Linux operating system, especially for beginners. And if you aren't a big fan of the whole Unity interface, etc., then I'd recommend um, checking out Linux Mint or OpenSUSE. Um, so that's it for this video, and thank you for watching.